Welcome back everyone. I went to bed, slept uh, for several hours and now I'm back. Reached S last video or something like that and Rainmaker again on Aruana Mall and Kelp Dome. I, ch I uh, did a recon on Aruana Mall. It's really really fast. There there's like not much distance to cover to get to the spot you have to bring the Rainmaker to. So that has to be like one of the fastest maps on with this mode. Kelp Dome is a more like, uh, not not like Port Mackerel, but uh, in terms of distances to travel, it's more like that. Um, Don't know how I'm going to do. If I'm going to drop back to A+, that would be her tor t terrible. Or if I'm going to actually manage to slowly claw my way up to S+. Uh, there's only one way to find out, to be honest. The one thing to, no to mention, though, is that most of the Japanese should be sleeping now. And I uh, ensured as best as I possibly can, that my internet connection is optimal. Okay, so much for Japanese sleeping. There's st there's always a bunch of Japanese still playing. <laughs> they really like this game. Well, I managed to splat the one that had the Rainmaker at least. Oh, actually, that's really fast if they bring it by there. Jeez. Okay, most of them got splatted. Really? Come on, guys. Wait, I don't have it! I never had it. Damn, now I have Oh, Aw, dang it! Of course, there's, there's always one foe right waiting behind me. Dang it. We had the lead. Oh, I so was about to splat him, but no. Oh. I sure like starting my day with a loss. Yeah, of course. I always get the player who doesn't know how to play. I sort of feel like a bit tired playing with only Japanese players because of the lag uh, I have with them. But on the other hand, at least I'm guaranteed for the most part that they're, they're going to be better. Oh man, just chargers. Well, we have one shooter. Anyway, part of for the previous match, it was kind of my confusion because uh, I, I thought that I, I had it when I didn't, so I probably should have activated my Kraken special. Uh, I really wish that at least the minimal small shots would at least uh, manage to splat someone. That was me that did that. Oh, come on! What are they doing? I mean, they are chargers, so yeah, there's an understanding why we keep screwing up like this, but jeez. Oh, come on! Just keep screwing up! Trying to climb up a silly thing and I keep messing it up. Oh, really? Come on, don't get stuck! Jeez! And of course, it doesn't splat them. Okay, right now, part of the problem is that no one's splatting their squid beacons. They have squid beacons all over the place. Uh, there's spots you can go down there. Wow. Oh, well, we didn't manage to go all the way, but we almost managed to get the lead. That would have been cool. Where's the squid beacon? We have a squid beacon right out, uh, over here. There. Oh no, I didn't want to pick it up! I managed to spot two of them at least. Ah! They're coming from behind! 
You're just gonna hold it, morons! Oh, come on! What a load of bullsh**! Well, actually, they hit more often than I did. But again, it's the freaking decos that don't know how to play, or one player who doesn't know how to play. It could be me, I don't know, whatever. Whatever the case is, getting out played like this is just frustrating. Well, no, actually, what the real problem is that I use my Kraken, and I accidentally picked up the Rainmaker, which cancels it. And I got lucky not getting splatted right away. I managed to, like, hit, hit them while they were trying to get me from behind. But then we just got stuck in that uh, spot, not being able to do anything. Not, make, not being able to make anything happen. How can they not... It's one opponent. They can't do sh**. think they'd be able to actually block the place or actually shoot somewhere, but no! They can't do f all. Ah. Reap. Well, got really, really close. At least my that that blaster was doing real good. Ah. Well, I didn't get instantly splatted, but geez, going up through here. Don't retreat. What was I like retreating? Well, back at the center now. Why did I think I was retreating? No, 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 no! I hate blasters. I was hitting us from behind. Might be best for me to just uh, hold on to it. Except then I got splatted from behind. Well, if they can't grab it within five seconds. Yeah, I think we got it. Fair enough. That was tense. I complain a lot when things don't go our way. And for the most part, they were these things were going our way, but uh in the moment, uh, in the heat of the moment, when something when something doesn't go your way in the heat of the moment, you'll 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 complain. Anyway, yeah, that TSKB guy, no good. No good at all. That's not a Ness Ranker. Him. Level 42 TSKB. The weakest link. Uh, why him? Why TSKB? Put him on the other team. He's a loser. Oh my goodness, he freaking disconnected! That bastard! Oh my goodness. What can I do against the freaking... Car hero roller replica? Oh, I thought it was a carbon roller. Whatever. How can we win this? It's three against four. Oh, well, there was no way for us to counter that. I'm freaking... Whatever. It's because of TSKB. You all know it. Dumb bastard just decides to quit on us right at the beginning. Seriously, I complained about some players, and I can be wrong sometimes, but... This guy, he was bottom tier on every match, and just as he joins me, he decides to just quit right away. Yeah, he managed to splat the uh, R. Whatever. Oh, come on! You were supposed to be guarding us! Because of that, we lost three players at once. Uh, yeah, we weren't gonna protect that, but geez. Okay, cool. Only one player over there, though. 13 seconds left. We have to... Uh, again, I lose just because of the narrow disadvantage. Getting real tired of this. Not playing rank, but losing. Because uh, I put myself up with this goal. Get to S plus with the frick... Oh, wow. I was I did really terribly. I put myself up with this goal of getting to S plus with a knee leader, a custom knee leader. And because I'm stubborn, I'm not going to stop until I get to it. And if I drop a rank, that's just going to... Oh, my goodness. That's just going to make me so much more frustrated than normal. And I'm not going to be able to think about anything else this week other than getting to S plus with the custom E leader. No, no. Ah, oh, come on. 
Well, made excellent progress to the very end, at least. Ah, oh, dang it. Wait, we have it? What? What the hell happened? They, they somehow managed to pick it back up and then immediately put it in. Wow, that was fast. Well, well done, I guess. Didn't score a single splat, but then again, most players didn't. I, was it seriously that E-Leader that did that? It has to be. That was not very satisfying, but I did need that, I guess. I guess I better rethink about me saying that Arowana Mall is one of the fastest to Rainmaker maps. Kelp Dome can be done pretty fast really quickly too. If you're, well, lucky enough. Uh, well, that wasn't going to work out because of the Kraken, but I was hoping it was about to end. And yeah, we obviously lost it again. We have, this, we have the advantage right now, however little it may be. Dang it. All the, both Kelp Dome and uh, this map are on them all. Are, uh, in this mode, it actually, I think it favors much more uh, shooters, if anything. Ah, uh, keep missing everything. Oh my goodness. They lost it, but jeez. I'm so terrible with my aim right now. Oh my goodness. Does no one watch our back? They have rollers. Why is no one watching our back? We have to... Oh wow, they grabbed it. My goodness. What the hell were they doing? He was right there. And they had their specials, I, I know that. So because of that, instead of just getting uh, overtime get play, we end up uh, getting knocked out. Uh, but I keep consistently doing the most terribly. So I am kind of thinking that the charger in this type of uh, mode with these maps is not great at all because everything has to be done in close quarters. The, the range doesn't help at all. It's ironic, but it helped a lot more in Port Mackerel because of uh, how the map was positioned, or like how it was. And it also helped more in, obviously, Mori Towers because of how uh, wide open that area was. But in these maps, Kelp Dome and Arowana Mall in that mode, being a charger doesn't help that much. Either that or I just can't keep hitting my opponents over and over like a doofus. trying to hit me. Of course, both of uh, two two of our players got splatted. Yes. Ah, oh, yes, of course. I, I saw the roller, but nothing much I could do. I don't know what my allies were doing not, you know, following me, but whatever. He's right there. Oh my goodness! Oh. Am I seriously below 30 points now? Don't know what that Ink Rush user is doing at S rank, but yeah, now I'm below 30 points! I'm doing so bad, I actually have less points than when I started as an S ranker. Haha, <laughs> dumbass! I'm going through there. No, come on! You guys are supposed to defend me. What a load of bullshit. Yeah, burst bombs would help a lot right now. I think that's part of the problem. I, I can't do anything climbing up that uh, middle segment with my custom E-Leader. Ah, uh, whatever. The Kraken, the Kraken's really not that great either. That's another issue. Oh my goodness, he's right there. Okay, you know what, no. I cannot do this with the custom E-Leader. I cannot, not on, these, not on these maps, not with this mode. 
I need burst bombs to alleviate the damage I'm causing to all these other S players right now. Because I cannot hit f all. Well, no one else would be that we have bad players on our team. But no, I need burst bombs for close encounters because of the way the maps are designed here. Kraken's not being that great either. So let's get the f out of here and get myself some burst bombs. Yeah, so much for just doing the, this with the custom E leader. But no, I... I need burst bombs for these maps specifically. If it was another map or another mode, maybe I could stick to the custom E leader, but no, not for these maps, not on this mode. And I'm so low that I'm actually facing A minus players. Give me a break. Got it. Finally. Well, I guess that goes with the fact that I'm playing with much less uh, better players, but geez. Of course, I'm not going to get many points for that. Two points, I bet. Three. Wow. Come on, come on. Oh, Stupid acceleration based swim speed. Anyway, the player basically suicided there because you can't hold on to the Rainmaker for forever. Ah, oh, dang it. Did I seriously miss? There. Oh my fucking lord! I hate rollers that do that! Not doing anything but just waiting for us to get close just so can they can pop out and just press one button. How did I not splat you? Well, I guess she had defense up, but jeez. Yeah, okay. So, things are going about a lot easier right now, but only because I dropped back to playing with players who are not just S rank. It's a lot more fun, I'll give it that. Also, it might also be because I'm using with my, my burst bombs, which help a lot in these maps. So there's a lot less frustration when I have to deal with melee because the Kraken the Kraken for dealing with my melee troubles was just not working out it, it just wasn't I only like managed to spot one four at a time and in some cases they had a Kraken ready so burst bombs are much more helpful with dealing with all these situations Okay, I think I'm facing players who know how to play Rainmaker now, with players who are good, but not quite the same level. Oh, what? Ah, oh, You were not close enough. Yep, just stick around here. We won. Oh, come on! Don't... Oh, he kept jumping and avoiding my shots. Okay, they're just right there. And, oh yeah, the Rainmaker's shield. That, that can actually hurt you. Really? How many Krakens do they have? Oh my goodness! How many Krakens do they have? What a load of bullshit! Oh, if only there was only one of them! Jeez! Come on, they can still crash it! Oh! Well, frustration here was them always having a Kraken ready. They, yeah, they have three Kraken players, no wonder. And the S Plus player clearly knows how to play. And me, well, I just wasn't doing all that well because I kept getting splatted. Ha, you missed. Ah, oh, dang it. There. Oh, but we lost the lead.
And so much for that. I keep losing games just barely. Fucking aggravating. It's like just by two points that these matches are decided. Uh, but I'm really not any help. Jeez. I can't get any splats. I mean... I switched to the basic E leader. Because I wanted to be able to make a difference. The problem right now is that... Uh, this, this simply isn't a charger friendly rotation for a ranked battle. Area, there's way too many blind spots or spots where the opponents can hide from, keeping me from hitting them, and whatever. This is this is really more like uh, for Kelp Dome. I'd say it's much more splat roller friendly, while for a Rowan Amal, it's uh, shooters. Whatever the case, this is not for chargers at all. No! Splat! Really?! Ah... Uh, yeah, this, getting through there, especially when the opponents already are aware of it, is very difficult. Ah, uh, I really wish that it caused at least some, some amount of damage when you do a non-charged shot. Doesn't do anything. Oh! So close! But no, once again I lose barely. Although, at least I did lots of splatting this time. Oh! Nope, not, not through there, not through there. We've taken the lead! Wow! <laughs> okay, that was ridiculous. Okay, that was... I did not expect to do a comeback right there. I had to, because I kept losing these games always by a few points, but jeez! I was trying to go through that opening, because I knew they weren't looking there, but no, we were a bit too slow. By then, they were all there, all using their supers. And suddenly I'm just like, okay, you know what? No, I have to go through the other way. And I was surprised at how quickly I managed to get, like, how they didn't have that much of an advantage. So it didn't take that long for me to catch up. But geez, I didn't expect it to, all, to just suddenly go, oh, taking the lead so quickly. I thought I had to go through at least through the, uh, between the two uh, buildings or, you know what I mean. Whatever. That, that felt good. I'm back at S rank normal now. Ah, oh, well, I closed in the distance. Booyah! Okay, that was good players. I had really good players with me this time, or maybe the enemy team just wasn't that great. But geez, the, my my. My, my allies knew how to stay alive, is what's important here. Ah, oh, bubblers! Well, I closed in the distance massively, but geez, there was no way I could counter that. Taking the lead! Ah, oh, but we have the lead! Oh, and three of our players alive and only one enemy. Yeah, I think we got this. Ah, but we lost it again. We closed the lead by two points. There's one player left. Ah, uh, but no, we're, we're all gone now. So we just have to hold on to our lead from now on. Going through here. Yep. No way you were going to make it through that, buddy. I was ready for you. Ah, uh, there's always one behind me. F Ryan Derp, you don't know how to play.
All right, fine. Maybe you do, but jeez. He's no teammate. Oh my goodness! Straight from the beginning. And it was Ryan Derb, of course. Son of a bitch. We actually won with three players. Against four? Yeah, three three against four and we won. I was not really much help, but I it was there. But I think the real... I'm not sure, but... When it's three players... in a, like There's a mode where we can play as with squads in ranked. And if you're three players... You'll set, be set up against four players, but however, you'll have shorter respawn times. I don't think that applied here, though, but if it if we had actually intended to play with three players, we would have had shorter respawn times. Okay, that was a waste. Worst super jump ever. Yes! <sighs> that was a narrow victory. Okay, I'm back at 44 points. I started this video with, uh, I believe, 44 points. And now I'm back at 44 points. Terrific. Don't splat me, bro. Close the distance. We managed to get the right lead. What? Come on! I really don't like the lag that's going on, but I have to deal with it. They have to deal with mine too, I guess. This doesn't happen in Turf War though. That's what well, is what's strange. I play with Japanese players in Turf War all the time and there's never been this kind of lag on every player. Okay, you know what? If I win one more match, I'm gonna stop right there. It's been two hours and uh, I probably need a break. I probably need to change modes. Tower control is next, I believe, and I think I might be better at that. I might, although for tower control, I'm probably going to have to switch out back to the custom E leader. For this, though, I, I had to use the basic one. Oh my goodness! Just a blind ink Zooka shot. How did I not splat him?! Goodness gracious! <sighs> you guys kept seeing me throwing bombs at them? It won't slap them! What the hell? Well, whatever the case, thanks to uh, teamwork and effort, managed to scrape by, by one point. Wow. But then again, the opponents have a player who wasn't all that great anyway. Yeah, so 52 points on S rank. I think I'm going to stop here. It's going to be a long time before I actually reach S plus. I better deal with that. It's mostly... I might have to wait until there's a mode... And map rotation that suits the E leader to ever reach S plus using it. So it's gonna be a while. But anyway, right now I'm gonna take a break. I need one. See y'all later.